Michael's not going to tell you anything about Jax, least of all where he is. You got no idea what Michael's doing or not doing, because with all your lies, I don't think he wants to see you again, Carly. Michael is just grieving over right, Abby. Right, yeah. Right. You know, he's just lashing he's, out he's because lashing he's out right now. at you because you lied to him about your ex-husband. I'm sorry, it's not your ex-husband. It's your current husband because you refused to sign the divorce papers. You didn't want to get your hands out of those deep pockets. Oh that God, should have been the first doing? clue that he's still alive. What are you alive. doing? I thought you would be thanking me. I was trying to protect Jack so Sonny didn't finish what he started. You want me to thank you? I want to kill you. You're the one that just pushed him so hard he had no choice but to file for divorce or custody. And then you drag him into it. I didn't drag Sonny into anything, Alexis. This is all your fault. You're the worst thing that ever happened to any of them. That's enough, all of you. Stop. You know what? You can dress this up all you want, and you can try and blame this on me. Sonny is the one that chased Jax all around town with the gun, fired off the gun in Robin's living room, and then sabotaged the plane Jax was on. Because you drove him to no, it. No, I didn't, Alexis. Brenda did. Do you remember her? Yeah. And then she took off with Jax. She pissed Sonny off. She hurt his pride so bad that Sonny decided to kill Jax. Do you not remember that? Are you not going to admit to that? Because your fan club is standing here waiting to hear all about it. See, they don't see you for who you really are, because then they might have to admit that they have the hots for some guy, some criminal, who doesn't give a damn about anybody but himself. I do give a damn about my children, though, okay? And I thought that you did, too. But I guess I was wrong, because you lied to Michael, and you took Morgan away, my son, for no damn reason. Hey, Alexis, why don't you tell Sonny why I sent Morgan away? Because you're manipulative and vindictive? That's rich coming from a woman who spent, I don't know, almost all of Christina's life trying to come up with new and creative ways to keep her away from her father. And you were the first one to point out how wrong that was. Because when you were with him, he was great. When you weren't with him anymore, he's the Antichrist. Please do something. Will one of you stop this? Don't you Carly, dare. you knew Sonny was having stuff. an episode. And you did nothing. In fact, you made it worse. Oh, but I let you take care of him, Kate. Isn't that what you really wanted? You wanted to save Sonny? And Alexis, shouldn't you be just going off on Kate because you've always wanted to save Sonny and make him morally acceptable for your kid, right? You know what? You're about to lose a child. How are you going to feel about that? Because Michael doesn't want to have anything to do with you. And you deserve everything you get at this point, Carly. Michael is grieving. That kid is hurting. And you of all people should know what he's going through. Well, it's your fault! You lied! Don't put it on me! It's not Sonny's fault that Michael's finally had enough. Who the hell are you to judge me? I mean, really? Who the hell do you think you are? And you know, I'm wondering why you went back to work for Sonny. He's still the same criminal he always was. But no, suddenly now, you're willing to take him on as a client again. What's Sonny holding over your head? if we all had to hear you go on and on and on about how you will never represent Sonny again. I mean, how many jabs did you make at Diane because she was defending Sonny? But man, here you are, back on retainer. He's blackmailing you. That's your tactic. No, I mean, you're going off on me for keeping secrets and lying. Do tell, Alexis. I mean, did you, did you shove another someone off a balcony? Did you sleep with Michael another married official? Her. You Do may tell. be right. Might be time Don't to intervene. tired of being so hateful. No, I'm so sick and tired of being looked down on by you. You turned your back on Sonny because your feelings were hurt. He dropped your neurotic ass <sighs> and came back to me, and you've never gotten over it. And then he dumped you because you are a raging bitch! Jax fled to the other side of the world to get away from you. You annoyed him so much that he faked his own death. Jax isn't hiding from me, Alexis. He's hiding from your client, so you're going to have to make a decision. If Sonny tries to kill Jax again, what are you going to do? Are you going to defend him? Or are you going to let Sonny blow your big secret, whatever it may be, sky high? 
we will no longer I'm engage. I'm a killer. We're not going to let any uncomfortable truths, whatever they may be, come I'm to a, light. I'm a, come on, come on. Well, are you satisfied now, Carly? Have you got enough attention? Have you heaped enough blame on everyone else for what you did? Do you know how pathetic you are? How? I mean, Sonny got you shot on your wedding day, and then he left tire tracks down your back running towards Claudia Zakara so he could have a little piece of the Claudia Zakara you know fortune. Back off, Kate. Don't you mean Connie? I mean, your big first true love? Or was that Brenda? Or how? Wait, where is she? Was it Olivia? I mean, there has been so many, hasn't there? Mm -hmm. I mean, you love so many of them, and then guess what? Then you don't. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they see you for who you really are, and then they just run screaming mm -hmm. until you find another true love. You know what? Can you think about Michael for a second instead of doing what you love to do, which is tearing into me and trying to make me look bad? I got a better idea. Mm, what's that? Why don't you send Morgan home so I can see my son? and repair the damage that's already been done. It is so typical of you to use your kid's pain to get what you want. At least he's thinking of his children, Carly. For someone who prides herself on being such a great mother, you seem to care very little about how devastated Michael is about what you did. Who the hell are you? Who the hell am I? Yeah, what are Enough! you? Enough! Even... Enough! Dante called, there's been an accident. Michael, it's me. Everyone's just on the way. Michael, it's Jason, can you hear me? Okay. We're fine. You knew, didn't you? I knew what? About Jax being alive. Mom tells you everything I know she told you about this. Michael, when Carly... Did you even care about Morgan grieving for Jax? Jocelyn missing her father? It's not, it's not like You that. didn't even what? think about it, did you? How much it hurts to lose somebody that you love. I'm not staying here. Michael, get off! Mike. Mike. Are you okay? Don't, Mom. No, I think you're angry with me right now. I just want to know if you're okay. Look, I think he's all right. Why don't you guys wait here? I'll take him to get checked out. Michael, you get the hand checked out. Call me, okay? Nothing to talk about. I'm fine. Oh. You were safe for sore eyes. Hey, is everything okay? Uh-huh. Neither Jason nor Michael are injured, not physically, anyway. You mean Michael? Yeah, he's pretty pissed off. I know, are you worried about him? Yeah, I'm always worried about my brother. He's volatile, he's trying to prove himself all the time, and Abby was good balance for him. Now she's gone and he's gonna lash out because he's trying to deal with his pain, you know? I feel terrible for him. Yeah, yeah whole drive to the hospital. He didn't didn't say a word. He just kept staring out the window. What are you supposed to say? How are you supposed to talk about losing someone you love? And even if you can't say it out loud, how is talking about it going to make the pain any less? I don't know. I was just trying to put myself in his shoes and see how I would feel if I lost you and I can't even imagine my life without you. So I don't know what I would do. Aren't you the one who told me that we shouldn't take on other people's pain? I mean, I hope that we never know what it feels like to lose each other too soon but in the meantime let's just be grateful and count our blessings wow who who are you and what have you done with my wife oh you mean the former half glass empty lulu spencer yeah that always saw the downside yeah in situations? i mean she was a beautiful girl but, but wasn't big on happy endings yeah it was a really weird thing she actually went into a bar one day and she was minding her own business and this yeah. weird guy came up to her witty charming sexy uh, kind of dorky, but it turned out he was honest and loyal. Wow, sounds like a golden retriever. Well, he actually kind of looked like a golden retriever. Oh. <laughs> but fortunately, he was slightly more intelligent. Just a little bit Just more intelligent? Because that doesn't sound like someone who's chock full of, uh, you know, life-altering potential. We haven't let me finish. This guy was and is the one person that I trust with my heart. And he's the person that showed me that the glass isn't half empty, it's completely full. And he taught me to believe in happy endings. And I do. Because I'm living one. <laughs> Have you made any <laughs> New Year's resolutions yet? Have you? Um, thank you. 
To find my own bliss. I, I, I thought you already did that. Other than you. Oh. Yeah. Um, well, any ideas? Uh, it's not gonna be cooking. You gotta be less hard on yourself about the cooking thing. It'll get better with practice. You know? Is this your not so subtle way of saying that I should be at home with a hot meal for you every time you're done with work? If I said yes to that, then I would definitely be as stupid as that uh, golden retriever. <laughs> I just want you to be honest. I want you to find your bliss. I want you to feel challenged. I want you to feel interested. Well, what if it doesn't pay a lot? Then we'll just live off of whatever I make. Wow. Maybe we really should take Sonny's money after all. Mm. I'm sorry, I didn't, was that a No, are you kidding, kidding me? It's, it's $100,000. I mean, you could start a, a business with that. You could go to school you with that money. kidding me? No, I mean, the money's legit. Why, why, is it, why is it so important to me to prove my stance that I, that I have to refuse Sonny's money? Because of what happened tonight? I mean, watching Sonny and Carly tear into each other was horrible. But the one resounding thing that came out of it was the fact that Sonny was out to kill Jax. The fact that he's alive doesn't mean anything. Right, you're right. I should not fall for the caring father thing and realize who he is and what he is. Well, he's your dad, so, you know, whatever that means to you, if you want to see him or not, that's your choice. But, I don't know, owing him money? It's going to make things a little complicated. Right, you're amazing. I'm married not just a beautiful woman, but you're pretty smart and perceptive, Yeah, too. pretty smart? Yeah. Well, you haven't told me what your resolution is. All right, I resolve to uh, love you each and every day. And I resolve to be grateful for the little things, like when I can't find my Yankees jersey and I look around and you're wearing it. And I resolve to be grateful for the big things, like uh, you and I are here together, happy, healthy, finally got you to marry me. <laughs> And speaking of marriage... This is the longest freaking resolution ever. I resolve <laughs> to make this the best year of both our lives and every year after this year to be the best, better than the year before. Are you done? Because I have one more resolution for you. All right, what is it? Can you resolve to dance with me? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs>